Hey guys, Luke Klinker here from Sliding Messaging. Um, just wanted to show you again uh, the new feature I've been working on, the Slide Over 2 and the Quick Peek feature. So let's get right to it. Obviously you can still see um, the Slide Over bubble over there. It hasn't changed the look of it hasn't at all, but the functionality behind it has changed quite a bit since the last update. So I just wanted to show that off to you a little bit. Here you can see if you long click on it, you can drag it around, you know, you can place it on the right side, um, place it on the left side like you would imagine. Um, so that's pretty easy. If you double tap it, you know, it opens the dragging the slip, sliver width. Um, so that's as easy as just dragging your finger along the screen and it works the same way on the right side as you would expect. Um, obviously the same original slide over functionality is still there, you know, you can have all your new new messages coming up here and slide and drag between them to open the slide over pop-up. There's your secondary action and then up at the top here there's the close and the settings button. Um, if you have new messages there, there's a clear button that appears there too but that was all in the original slide over. So um, let's get to some more new stuff here. Now tapping this bubble is actually going to open the quick peek window is what we're going to call it. Um, obviously it works as you would expect. Touching the contact pictures opens up the new um, the messages from that contact. It holds up to the five latest contacts. Uh, then you can drag it around with that. Um, works just like you would expect. Um, something that I didn't show off in the last video that I did was it actually hides the message box now. Uh, so to reopen it, you just got to tap a picture, conversation picture, but then you can also close it instead of dragging it around, just touch that little bubble, uh, the action button I'm calling it, and then to open it again, you just press that. Uh, so it's pretty easy. You can close that window too by clicking the slide over bubble, and it just disappears from the screen. So um, everything's working pretty well over on my end. We will probably put up a beta later today. So. This is just a quick preview for all you guys who want to try it out. We'll let you know when that's up. And thanks. Thanks for watching.